We prepared four different window frames for you, which we will attack immediately. And I will give you some information about burglar-proof windows. Stay tuned! Come on, hit it! But why do we need burglar-proof windows? Before we explain you, I need to show you something important. Woody, could you please try to break open that conventional window here? Yeah. Let's go. Here he takes two screwdrivers. That works relatively quick. Conventional windows can be forced open quite easily and quickly. What about the glass? We'll show you that too. I'd say we use a stone. Well, the answer is relatively obvious. I can quickly open the window like this in a few seconds. It's normal glass in here. I can break it quite easily. That was an insulated glass, so it consists of two glass panes. We smashed it with a stone and it broke quite easily. I'm in the building quite fast or I can open the handle. Now we break open the windows. We have three professionals here to do that. Please come on, uh, we're happy to get started. This is going to take quite a bit of time. While the three experts are trying to break open the windows, I'll explain to you all about security windows. Security windows come in resistant classes 1 to 6. 1 is the lowest, 6 is the highest. The resistant class 1 is hardly any meaning in practice because it doesn't provide any real burglar protection. We have brought the resistant class RC2. The hoodie is working on that one. Then here in the middle, the resistant class RC3. And here we work on a window in the resistant class RC4. The guys are trying hard, just like it happens in real life. We are trying to break open the windows. I'll explain to you how the standard tests such windows. There are so-called tool sets. An RC2 window, for example, is attacked with a little smaller tools, according to the standards anyway. RC2 windows should withstand a burglar with uh, smaller tools for about three minutes. Let's look at the middle window here, RC3. It should withstand a burglar for about five minutes. In the toolbox, he may already have a bit larger tools with him. Let's take a look at the RC4 window here, which according to the standard can withstand an expert burglar for about 10 minutes. Clearly, an expert burglar is someone who knows what he's doing. He has done that before. He knows his way around. He knows how to crack the window open. The tools are a bit bigger. This is where it really gets serious. By the way, we do not test resistant classes 5 and 6 here, simply because they do not play a significant role in the private sector. Such windows RC5 and RC6 are rather used in military facilities or in nuclear power plants. We have brought you three different materials. The RC2 window is made of plastic. The RC3 window is made of metal, in this case aluminium. And our RC4 window is made of wood. We just want to show you that there are burglar-proof windows in different materials. Whatever fits better to your house or architecture. We can have a look here. Rudy is still trying to break open the RC2 window. As said, three minutes according to the standard. We'll see how it goes. I think he still needs a little bit of time. Now, Rudy has opened the window. Super! As I said, resistant class 
RC2, according to the standard, is about three minutes. Great. We can walk through. The glass is still intact. We haven't attacked it yet, but we're just inside the building. The other two guys, let's see how it works here. The RC3 frame. Come along. We see he's working his way through the metal frame. The window is incredibly resistant. He's trying to break it open on the handle side. But it doesn't break open yet. Let's look at the wooden window. Resistant class RC4. Again, he's trying to lift it with wedges. But the mushroom padlocks are still holding the window closed. How do you protect your building in a good way? Where are which windows used? Which resistant class? Basically, you could say RC2 windows have a reasonable basic protection. RC3 windows have a very good burglary protection for private houses. And RC4 windows, which can still be built very slim, of course have an excellent burglary protection. Let's have a quick look. So, the wooden window RC4 is still not open. The metal window, resistant class RC3, is also not open yet. And it doesn't look like he's going to get it open that quickly. You see, the metal is starting to give way, much like our wooden window. Looks pretty much damaged, doesn't it? But still won't open. Thanks, guys! Okay, well, they were quite strong, but now here's the difference between standard and what happens really. You never know, is it going to be an expert burglar or somebody who, who did it just a few times? And you never know what kind of tools they would bring. And this is why our people use tools that they just felt were good. But now, the big bang is, in standards, they do not test the glass. You heard me right. They don't test it. And now I'm going to show you what happens when you attack the glass. Eddie, could you please smash the glass? Now you know what happens. The standards just recommend to use minimum P4A glass. But you can smash P4A glass within seconds. Now let's move on to the next one. We could not break open the resistant class 3 window frame. Now we'll attack the glass. That was quite fast, wasn't it? And that's because the standards recommend P5A glass for these resistant class 3 windows. Now, let's attack the resistant class 4 window frame. It's a P6B glass being installed here and see what happens. Well, you can smash a hole quite easy in conventional P6B glass. Just as a reminder, the window frame in resistant class 4 is supposed to give you about 10 minutes of protectional time. The glass obviously does not. If you want to learn more about these different types of glass, there is a separate video you might want to watch. Now I would like to give you some additional information about the handle. 
Is the lockable window handle the solution? Well, it certainly doesn't make the glass any stronger. There is another problem. Before you leave the house, go shopping for example, you have to go through the building and lock all the window handles, remove the keys and put them somewhere. When you come back, you have to do the same again, even if you go out with the dog. If you don't lock them, do you actually have insurance coverage? Please write it in the comments or ask your insurance company. Can a lockable window handle be broken open? With brutal force, yes. Let me show you. The window is locked. So. so, it works if you know how. In order to get good burglary protection, the glass has to be as secure as the window frame. And how that works, we're going to show you with a Sealatec glass. Come on, follow. Now we'll attack the Sealatec glass with three people. A medium sledgehammer, a very heavy sledgehammer and an axe. Come on, hit it! Can you manage your final round? Great, thanks guys. If you want to make your house really burglar proof, make sure that the glass is as secure as the window frame. And if you want to learn more about how to burglar proof your house or how to bulletproof it, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Wo komme ich her? Was ist mein Text und wo ist meine Kamera? Bevor wir das beantworten, muss ich euch unbedingt was zeigen. Rudi. Ein Satz mit Rudi aufzuhören ist nicht gut. <laughs> now I would like to give you some additional information about the handle. This wird nix. So, legen wir los.